the end of this tutorial, we'll be making a very important announcement. But before that, let's make this image pop. So after retouching your image, after almost doing everything, sometimes you tend to realize that your image becomes a little bit flattened, flattened beyond your taste, beyond your liking. This video is going to remedy that. I'm going to be showing you a technique that completely pops your image and make it more three-dimensional and also actually add glue to it. And with no further talk, let's just get into action. Before applying this technique, make sure you've done almost every other thing because we'll be merging the layers. So you select every of the layer, come and merge the layer and also merge down or just merge visible any of them after that go to image calculation change the channel from red to green change this channel also from red to blue then click on ok from this point you come to select select all then come to edit and copy the selection. After that, you create an empty layer. And then come to your edit and paste. Okay. From this point, you change your blending option from normal to either vivid light or linear light. Uh, vivid light. For this image and then you come and double click on your layer that is this layer one here you double click on it to bring out the layer style or come to fx here and choose blending of so either of them now come down here to this layer and shift your slider to the right. That is, you move the slider to the right. Make sure the blend if is on gray. And move the slider to the right. Okay, let's make room so that we can see what is happening. Hold Alt or Command, Alt on PC, Command on Win on uh, on Mac. Click on this slider to split it. Take one to the left and take the other to the right. You can see how natural this is looking now. Come here and click on OK. This is the before. This is the after. This is so powerful, right? You can come down here and turn down the opacity a little bit. But there's something I would like, like you to know. Popping your image and popping the subject out of the background are two slightly different things. How do you make the object stand out of the background? After doing this method, you come down here and click on your layer marks. Ctrl I to invert the marks. Then take your brush, set a reasonable flow, and then max out this effect from the background by revealing it only on the subject so go on right now you can see that the subject is turning out of the background it's a little bit faded so let's take a look at the before and after this is the before this is the after if the glow is too much for you just zoom in take your brush reduce the flow to one make sure the foreground is white to review and then move over Sorry, make sure the foreground is black to reduce the effect. Then move over the skin. It's not moving fast to increase your flow a little bit. You can see. Let's take a look at the before and after. Hold Alt and click on the background layer. To see the before click again to see the after before after before 
after amazing right you make sure you smash the like button just as a sign of appreciation and subscribe if you haven't already because we're putting out more amazing content you have a suggestion appreciation whatever you can let us know in the comment section we appreciate every of your feedback hey guys so if you've ever desired for your images to look this stunning after retouching then this video is definitely for you in this video we cover the a to z of photo editing and straight out of camera right into raw processing down or even to the final stage of exporting where we show you the best method to export for your social media platform to avoid compression and tonal shift in order to get the best result on every platform you post these images to and with no further ado with much excitement let's get started 